Hey, I'm Andy Slade. I'm here today with Corbin with Oryx Chassis. And we're gonna, this is the second video in a series about fundamentals. This video is gonna be about relaxation. So relaxation is huge in precision rifle shooting. It's what's gonna allow you to make sure that we don't have excessive wobble. It's gonna make sure that you don't have uh, poor technique and different things like that, okay? So what we're looking for is full body relaxation. So if you find yourself at any point having muscle tension somewhere in your position, something to remember is muscle tension equals wobble area. So if you find your reticle moving a lot, that's a prime indicator that you've got muscle tension somewhere in your position. Okay, so we're gonna use artificial support and bone support to gain that muscle relaxation. And what I mean by that, like this rifle sitting here with artificial support from the bipod, so like it's obviously not moving. Uh, if we were going to build a position with this, maybe we would use a rear bag to help us get that elevation height so the back of the rifle's not just floating around back here by using muscle tension. So in your practice, what you wanna do is start from the ground and work your way up, okay? So um, in your practice, you've got unlimited time. So you can find your areas that you personally tend to hold muscle tension. So for example, uh, for a long time, I used to hold muscle tension in my shoulders. And what I would do is, since I didn't really hold it in other places, I would just relax normally, but then I would mentally go to my shoulder and make sure that I had that relaxed because that was where I tended to hold that muscle tension. So maybe for you, it's in your legs, or maybe you, you forget to straighten your knees up so that you don't have those nice straight bones. Um, but whatever it is, you'll find that in practice. And then when you go to the practical application, you wanna go to that muscle group that's holding that muscle tension and just remind yourself to relax it. Any position that you build, you wanna ask yourself, could I stay in that position for 20 to 30 minutes and not have sore muscles the next day, right? So if you find yourself floating your head up and the whole time you're having to hold that tension in the back of your neck, it can absolutely cause you to have more uh, muscle tension equals wobble area. So you'd have more wobble in your, in your aiming than you would want. Um, so like in this case, we've got the adjustable cheek riser on, on the Oryx chassis and it for sure will allow you to relax your face down onto the gun and it'll keep you from having that muscle tension in your neck. Now, I wouldn't like try to push down on your face to really like cram your face into it. So that's where the adjustability comes in is you just want it enough to where you can just relax your face down. You don't really want to put extra pressure because any movement on the back of the rifle equals movement on the front of the rifle. What I see a lot are guys will go up, say they're gonna shoot from a standing position, maybe off the back of a truck bed or maybe off of a barricade at a PRS match or a tree limb on a tree. And instead of having nice straight legs and relaxing their body weight into their legs that way, and then adjusting the height by moving their position in or out, they'll have their legs bent and they, that's a huge muscle. It's one of the biggest muscles in our body. So if that muscle starts to fatigue, you'll get a lot of wobble there and then it translates directly to your scope. Um, I see a lot of guys that really, like you can see it from their back, they'll pull their shoulder up like this and kind of anticipate that recoil coming in. So what we want to do is make sure that we're not holding any muscle tension anywhere if we can help it. Um, there's a couple places that you need it. So we need to control the recoil of the rifle and we need to actuate the trigger. So there's two things there. Maybe we're using the rear bag to get an elevation up and down in the prone, or if we're shooting off of say this, this tree trunk here and we had a bag to support the rifle, maybe we're using that front hand to control the bag and the rifle for recoil control. But other than that, we should relax everything else. Is there a way that you can uh, develop some sort of skill or something to, to help better with that recoil anticipation or the flinch before you shoot? So a lot of it will go back to your dry fire techniques and your training. So uh, when we dry fire practice, we don't want to just practice pulling the trigger. We want to practice building that position in a good fundamentally sound position using that full muscle relaxation. So one of the techniques that I use in that practice is just start at my toes and work all the way up to my fingertips. And as I get to each muscle group, I'll tense each muscle group up and then relax it. And by doing that, if you've already got tension somewhere and then you try to tense it up even more, you'll be able to feel that it's already got tension there and then you can relax it. But again, all this needs to happen in practice. It doesn't happen just from, okay, you've heard it on a video and now we're gonna apply it. It's, you've gotta like hear the knowledge and then go apply it in your practice so that you'll do it in when it's time.
What will usually happen when a guy gets that adrenaline dump from say seeing a big animal that he's getting ready to harvest or he's at a PRS match for the first time or maybe he's with his buddies and he doesn't want to look like an idiot, right? So he gets this big adrenaline dump. So his heart rate goes up, his respiratory rate goes up and you know, he's, he's in it. But what, if you remember at the beginning of this video, we said wobble area equals muscle tension. And what you'll see is when we tend to get nervous, we tend to really cramp down on the rifle. So what you'll see is that reticle starts bouncing all around. So that should be a key reminder to go ahead and just relax come off of the rifle a little bit and then bring yourself back onto it so that we're not getting that big wobble area.